hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video we're going to make a 3d pinocchio i've already made the nail so i've used glitter bell shark which is a gorgeous color um and then i'm coming in with peach of our soft just in very small beads to um make the shape of his face Dipping your um, brush in your monomer, make sure that acrylic stays nice and wet because it's easier to play with and push and prod into place. Then when you're happy with the shape of his face, move on to his upper lip. Working around his cheek areas, build that that smile into his cheeks pushing up because you want his, his top lip to be quite raised just so you've got a nice dimension ready for his um, open mouth then with smaller beads come in and build up his bottom lip Pushing out via the bottom. Again, keep your brush quite wet. Just helps the acrylic not to set too quick. It's starting to look a bit like a monkey now. And another little bead. Build up his cheek. Then get round down his lip. And then the other side, build his cheek quite higher up on this side and then push in so that he's got that little little line at the top of his um, smile. And you can keep just using bead and bead and bead just to build it up. The smaller the bead the better really if you're doing this the first time. This is my actual first time ever making Pinocchio, so it was a bit of a challenge, but I think he came out all right. And then another bead, you just want to keep building these beads on, on his actual top part, just to fill in the colour, so work really wet and just keep building up, just so you can't see the blue in the background no more. Building up his cheek again, just to make it stand out a little bit more. At this point, I was thinking, okay, we're not going to look like Pinocchio. It's quite amazing, really. The, the more and more you add, all of a sudden, he just comes to life. Yeah, I'm just building up here with the mouth. One thing with 3D faces, they are a challenge and a lot of hard work, but the more you go at it, the easier you become it the easier it becomes and you just I don't know wing it every time. Well I do anyway. So I'm coming in with a small bead to build his neck. I do they think that his neck was a little bit too long? He sport in a giraffe neck, but you know it still works so if you are going to make him do his neck a little bit smaller because it looks like his neck's been stretched and then coming in with small beads again around his hairline just build his hairline up first because black can be a right pain in the backside i'm using again glitter bells um carbon black just coming around 
going around the outside and then I'll fill in and make a better shape around his around his hairline after once I've done this part. Once you've filled in the areas you need to, so there's no blue, come in with another bead and make the shape of his, the side of his hair, flatten it down, you don't want it too bulky. Building up his uh, little fringe. See when you're coming in with small beads, you can just keep working and working. I know it can be quite tedious, but if you come in with big massive beads and they bleed all over the place and then your acrylic starts setting and it's not in the right shape, well, you kind of mess up your work, so it is better to work in small beads. Building up his little flicky bit. And coming in with snowdrops white, I'm going to build his hat up. His hat is yellow, which you will see that I do put some honey on top. Um, but I just wanted it to really pop, so that's why I used white first. Gives it a bit of a shade in as well. with his hat you want to really fold it down and then bring it up you will get black on it because well black's a pain in the backside but you can just dip your brush into your mo into your monomer and um wipe it off see if you push it all the way down and then push it back up it gives it a really great effect I'm coming in with glitter bells honey just to colour the, the hat. Again, you could just use honey anyway and build the hat up, but again, as I say, with the blue in the background, it is quite a deep colour. So I just wanted to make sure that the hat popped. So I came in with snow white, uh, snow white, snow drops. So when you're using the yellow and you're colouring in the acrylic, make sure it's really wet because you don't want to add any bulk you just want to add the colour so if you put a drop on and keep dipping in your monomer spread it out yeah it works quite well now I'm coming in with um well I'm double dipping honey and wifey just to give it a little bit of shading and then using shark again coming in to make a little ribbon on his hat And again, coming in with the snowdrops white, building his collar up. Start to look like a little schoolboy now rather than Pinocchio, but he does eventually look like Pinocchio. I don't know what it is with my 3D, but my 3D always seems to be massive. It's flat, but massive. I can't work small, it, it always ends up big. And then another bead of snowdrops just to build up his um, t shirt. Drag it down. You need to keep it really thin here because obviously, if you do build this on a nail, you don't want the end of your nail being really chunky because you've still got to put his little pinafore on. Building up his arm, which 
I thought it would be great, but to be honest, there was no need really because once you put the bow on, you kind of lose his collar and his arm. But <clears throat> the sat dries coming in with wifey and maple leaf. I'm only colouring inside his mouth and not building it up so you need it quite wet but again really small beads just to work with easier because if you put too much on it's going to bleed and then it's going to go everywhere and then you're going to just destroy them so keep your brush wet obviously if you go over the lines and it doesn't look the shape that you want it just again put your brush back in your monomer and just wipe it away and a bit of pom pom to his little tongue And coming in with wifey, you're going to build his pinafore up. Again, keep it quite small because you don't want it chunky. Come on to his straps. Strike your bead down. You are going to get some red on your white, but again, you can just remove that with monomer. The jewels of red. Another colour that gets everywhere. Coming in with small little beads of double dipped snow white with honey again, just to try and make them pop. Put that on and down, and then to your next one. Now it's really starting to take shape. I'm really proud of this Pinocchio. And this little ear. It's just like doing a petal really. Shape it and dab it in the middle. Push it out a little bit. Back in. And then again snowdrops white. Coming in small beads. Keep wetting your brush. Pat it out. Flatten it out. There. So around the edges. And if you're working with your your brush quite wet, then you've got a lot of give in the acrylic. So you can keep playing with it. Same for his other eye. Gonna add a little bit more on this one. Just make it a little bit bigger. 
because most Disney characters always end up, because it's on a side view, they always have one eye that's bigger than the other. So, <clears throat> and then coming in with Angelfish, just do his actual eye with. Um, you can paint this on with acrylic paint or gel polish, but I like to challenge myself. And if you're doing acrylic work, you might as well just do it full acrylic. Plus I'm lazy and I couldn't be bothered to get my acrylic paint out, so. And the bare carbon black, do his pupil. I think this is the actual hardest part when it comes to doing 3D work, is get picking up tiny, tiny beads and trying not to let, like, get them to bleed everywhere, especially black. And obviously I should have just let that black fully dry but I don't then so again when the black does smear everywhere you can just dip your brush in the monomer like I keep saying and then wipe it off turn it into a carrot I think and then coming in to do his little eyebrows again you can paint these on but they do look pretty cool when they're uh, raised up And then onto his nose using Peach of Our Soft again. And I realised that this bead was a little bit too small, so came in to add more because I wanted his nose to not be massive but big enough before he started all of his lies. It kind of looks a bit like a carrot, but you know. I'm coming in with it with a really wet brush using maple leaf just to shade around. And I'm using a bit of wifey on his nose just to make his nose a little bit red. It's just that little bit of shading makes him pop. So here I'm using shark and angel fish. I came in with a small bead thinking, nope, he needs a bigger bow. So you'll see I added a, a bigger bead now. Um, mixing those two colours together, shaping it out. On the bottom part you just want to push it up so it gives gives it a bit of a bow type look and then another bee again mix it together you don't want it to blend in with the background too much but i wanted it to have a bit bit of a lighter color in there so i think it came out quite good And then a small bead just to finish his bow up. And I'm using the back of a back here as well. I'm going to make his feather for on top of his hat. Again, using wifey. Shape it out. And the one thing I love about the Glitter Bows 3D brush is the point on it is just amazing you can really cut into acrylic with it and it doesn't lose its shape like most brushes I've used before it's like a little knife really shape out them feathers push in and then stick it on top of his head 
خواهم Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.